In this video, I intend to install Playwright so I can run end-to-end -end tests against browser content. Also, I will install and configure the Next UI library and then write my first end-to-end -end test to confirm that the Next UI library is actually present in the browser. Let's get started. Now, I have to admit, before starting the recording, I did run this line of code, pnpm create playwright. I did that in the home directory of my project and it took a while. It, I went through some options to, it asked what my folder name should be called and whether I wanted to install all the dependencies that required pseudo mode, FYI. It went through this process. It, it also installed the browser engines for I understand Firefox, Chrome, Edge, and so Chromium, Firefox, and that's it. Also, I was given this document at the end of at the end of it all, which describes how I can run the tests. So that's pretty helpful. I'm going to pop open the docs because I might need to refer to that later. Now, let's take stock of where I am and what I'm doing here. I have this goal of creating a simple app by which people can land on the home page, learn a little bit about the project, then sign up, log in and see a dashboard, also submit a new post and view that post. If I can get to that point, I'll be really happy and I'll deploy this live. Until then, let's see. So when I installed the Playwright system, this E2E folder was automatically created and this test was all, all was automatically created as well. Let's just run the test and see what happens. So this is Playwright. I've done nothing special. We'll see if I can go PMPM exec Playwright test UI. That starts the interactive UI mode. Uh, let's just run all the tests. So PMPM exec Playwright test and find out what happens. The started link running six tests and four workers. So I think it's running these. To open the last HTML report, run PMPM exec Playwright show report. I'm going to have to make aliases for these. That's too much typing. Serving the report at localhost 9323. Here we go. Look at that. So test has title. It's an async function. I guess it takes a page object as, that's interesting. So await page go to this location and check that it has the title. So it went to that location. It checked that it has titles. Back to title to contain this substring. It does have that substring. Playwright, that's a regular expression. So it matched the regular expression. I can hide that test for now. Get started link. How do I navigate here? Go back. Nope. Go back. Get started link. Oh, look at it. it so it had Chromium tests, two of them. Firefox tests, two of them. WebKit, two of them. Great. It expected. Go to this page, get this get started link by role, get by role, check for get started link and click on it. Expect to page to have a heading with the name of installation. So it has a heading of installation and it was visible. So it expected that heading to be visible. Interesting. Oh, I get it. What about running my own, here, let's go localhost 3000. I'll have to figure out how to do watchers and go to, so waiting until load. Looks like this is gonna fail because it can't load this URL. Error page going to localhost, navigating localhost, waiting until load. So it couldn't find the page. That makes sense because it's not running. Let's go p dev. I will get rid of this test, I don't want it. And I understand that I can configure Playwright I can tell it which browsers to use, for example. So I wonder what's in this file. Browser. Configure projects for major browsers. Chromium, Firefox, Safari. Oh, and I could do mobile browsers, branded browsers, Edge. Very cool. And here's how to run the local dev server before starting the tests. Look at that. So use a web server. Command npm run start. That's not what's going to happen. It's going to be pnpm pn pm dev, run dev. The URL will be that. We use the existing server, yes. Let's see what happens. Let's hide these other browsers because that's just taking too much time. So we'll do 
Chrome only for now. I'll shut off these other browsers. I have it zoomed in so that it's visible in the video, but it's I need to see more in my IDE. I need more content. So I'm sorry about that, but it's just got to happen. Kill this terminal. I want to move this terminal. Split that. Hold on. Move this terminal to editor area. Thank you. Now I can put this side by side in VS Code and I can run the tests on the right hand side and be looking at my code on the left hand side. I like that. So look at. So the test directory is defined here. Parallel. Sure, it'll run tests in parallel. Reporter HTML. I wonder what options there are there. Use. Projects, create projects for major browsers. I don't know why this is called projects, but there you have it. So the web server should just run. Oh, look, my test is now running because I changed code. That means it's, it's watching. I like that. Also, it opened my browser, tried to run the test. It timed out waiting for the expectation. It couldn't find Playwright. Awesome. It didn't find Playwright. It shouldn't because it's testing my web page, which has none of that in it. Uh, let's go not to have title and the test. I wonder if the test runner will just repeat. I'll have to figure out how to turn on the watcher. It's running one test and one worker in Chromium. It passed the test. Let's open the report. Well, I wonder if, so it didn't automatically open a browser. It's showing report now in the browser. It went to the home page of my site. It did not find the title. It did not find that text, which of course it shouldn't because I don't have that text in my home page. I'll show you the home page. The home page is just this. So it doesn't have any content in there. Well, there we have it. So I have a playwright test running. Playwright is working properly. I need to learn a few things, but there we have it. It's installed. Good to go. So commit my code installed and configured playwright wrote first test. That's not a very good test, but it's a working test. It's not even working. It's a failing test, but the test is running. There we go. It's running. Sync the changes and thanks for watching.